A critically important part of intensive care ventilation is allowing the patient to take their own breaths to some kind of supportive mode where we um, assist the patient's own respiratory efforts and allow them to be weaned from ventilation. So we built this supportive mode into Jamvent. Basically it senses the patient's breath as a small reduction in the pressure uh, and then responds by delivering the required volume. So I'm going to move it into spontaneous mode here and Jakob will simulate an in-breath by the patient. So because of the sensors we use actually we can use very very sensitive pressure triggers um, which implies a very very small uh, flow rate so if I just deflect the lung a tiny amount there you can see that we're giving the patient a supportive breath. I'll do that again. And one of the important safety features um, for any supportive mode is actually to detect when the patient stopped breathing. Um, so actually what we've got is a um, backup mode so if there's no breath detected for about 20 seconds, although this can be changed by the user. The ventilator kicks back into our mandatory mode at the same tidal volume that we've selected for the patient, as you can see that we've done there. Um, and this ensures that this is an incredibly safe device um, to be used for patients on intensive care.